My childhood was full of extraordinary shapes and sounds and flavors and textures. I ran around marketplaces and uh, through rice fields, climbed a lot of trees, read a lot of books. I spent most of my childhood in Indonesia with summers spent in Hawaii. I lived in Indonesia till the age of 14 and in Indonesia you just have a constant uh, sort of throbbing cacophony. <laughs> um, so many human beings thrust together and um, forced in that collision to work things out with one another and, and create extended um, families and broaden ideas of kinship. So my idea of a family was always rather noisy even though uh, my most immediate family was relatively small. Mom was a incredibly tender and loving human being. She told me that she loved me, I would say, at least two dozen times a day. And um, if I returned um, expressions of love, she would say, well, I love you more or higher or broader. And the idea was that that was the only thing about which one was allowed to be competitive. Mm -hmm. And so she, um, I think her spirit is uh, really brought back to life through the illustrations. And um, so it, it was wonderful to see them because it was almost as though she was restored to me on some level. When I was pregnant with Suhela, I found a box of books that my mother had packed up the year before she passed away and had put in my grandmother's storage. And on the top of it, it said, for Maya's children. And it was all of my childhood dolls and my childhood books, and it was a gift. And uh, I um, had encountered it years after she had passed away. But I was pregnant, it was almost as though she could, uh, you know, um, imagine me uh, opening it up uh, in preparation for motherhood. And, you know, these dolls were from all over the world. They looked like the United Nations. And, um, and these books were, were terrific books. And uh, so for me, this book, writing it, was very cathartic because just like those children's books of mine, which I have now passed on to my daughter, uh, did for me that day, um, you know, writing the book um, conjured my mother in ways that were really important to me. You know, as a mother, I wanted to have her counsel and her affection and her sturdy uh, gazes and her reassurances, and I wanted all that she bestowed to me uh, to be available to my daughters. And in a way, writing the book was uh, an act of um, uh, a longing, and um, um, I hope uh, um, magic, because I wanted to sort of think about what she would teach and what she would give and and I feel like I have brought her back in some way and um, rediscovered her and, and my daughters have as well because they talk about her grandma Annie and uh, Suhela has read the book and the book becomes a starting point for continued discussion about the character of the woman and uh, what she taught to me and what she would represent and what she would do and what she would give uh, to Suhela if she were here. And in that way, you know, we honor our elders who have passed on. On a very fundamental level, I think the book is about our interconnectedness. And I think that we really need to confront the challenges and the possibilities of globalization uh, in the 21st century. We really are communicating so rapidly with one another and the problems um, of the world make it very apparent that we cannot neglect 
um, our mutual responsibility to one another. So I think that whatever we can do to create new paradigms of thinking and learning um, that include the world entire and that um, allow us to conceive of faraway peoples as our kin um, and uh, kith and, you know, to make brothers and sisters of them is great. I, I, um, I think that that is our um, most urgent task at hand.